Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today we're taking another trip to the past like we usually do on this channel and looking at trimming armor and why it's so infamously remembered. So trimming armor is actually probably one of the most infamous and remembered things from the early era of RuneScape between 2004 and 2006. Being one of the most iconic memes back in the day, it will forever stay remembered by the original players and holds some sort of nostalgic and sentimental value for most of us. Trimmed armor was the high-end free-to-play item for all players and was the most expensive actually next to the gilded armor set. The trimmed armor had a price of over 2 million for the clue scroll ruin itself. This was actually the only real way to obtain trimmed armor as you needed to hunt down for things called treasure trails in order to have a chance at receiving the trimmed armor as a reward. This made it naturally desirable by all players, really creating this goal and desire to achieve trimmed armor and held this awesome status alongside owning it. As a player back in the day, I personally remember actually trading a full set of ruin, don't judge me, a full set of ruin for only a single trimmed helmet. After equipping it, I remember walking around Varrock like I was the complete shit, I felt like the coolest thing ever. The single feeling of being a complete badass is what drove its desire higher and higher. It was a real status of accomplishment and players with the full sets were really looked at as the coolest players. It's definitely crazy to think about how much a cosmetic tweak to an item was really worth. Its rarity was extremely high which is what drove up its prices and its value. High prices and rare findings is what gave you the badass status and became linked to having fully trimmed armor. But let's be real here, they do look pretty damn awesome especially compared to the normal plain armor. With all that being said, trimmed armor has actually significantly dropped altogether in price over time. And it's all because of one simple rule, this rule being supply and demand. A lot of free to play players have either stopped playing or have become fully paid members. Truth is, is that the free to play members were actually the single reason that trimmed armor became so popular as well as so expensive. This is because of the fact that there was no real way to get clue scroll items in free to play other than buying them outright meaning members could obtain the scrolls and sell them off to the free-to-play community as a chance to get trimmed armor. This was a small business practice that caused huge spikes in value for trimmed armor in the market, as it was very rare for free-to-play members to own trimmed armor in any sort of way considering their limited options of obtaining it. Honestly, this concept is pretty interesting and could be a topic on its own. It really goes to show how much control the community has over the value and trade economy of the world of RuneScape. Anything the players deem valuable and cool can become desirable. The more another player agrees with the same fact, the higher and more likely it is to become a valuable item. All of this didn't just create a leap in prices for trim sets, but it also created money making opportunity for all the membered players. Obtaining trimmed armor and doing treasure trails became extremely appealing just for the chance of getting trimmed armor so you can in return make money. Most wouldn't even keep the armor for themselves and would actually begin selling off either the armor or the scroll itself to the free to play community. I mean, the idea is pretty damn cool. Let's just quickly look over this as simple as possible. There's this new item, and it's a cosmetic piece of item. It's gold trimmed, it looks badass, and everyone wants it. Now, just because Jagex decides that this armor can only be obtained via membership, but could be obtained using free to play if they bought the scrolls, created this opportunity for it to spike in value fast. Free to play members simply wanted it, and members could get it. Members then sold it to the free to play members, free to play members went crazy over it, buying all the stock quickly and the price just went flying. I love the economy of RuneScape, I think it's the most complex yet simple thing at the same time. I mean it reacts and plays alongside the players and goes to show the depth that Jagex made and created with their economy. It's it's pretty damn awesome. With all that being said, it also means trimmed armor quickly created an entrance for scammers to take advantage of. The thing is, to many players it logically made sense that you could make trimmed armor yourself by doing something to the armor that you already owned. Not all players were aware of how to actually obtain trimmed armor, especially free to play players who simply saw this armor begin to pop up here and there. Unlike paid members, they didn't get the scrolls or play the treasure trails to get an understanding of the concept. Scammers quickly took advantage of this, claiming that they would trim the armor of other players. However, once a player gave their armor to the scammer, they would simply log out, just as you'd expect, stealing all their stuff, as there was no one who could really trim armor and was simply just a setup scheme. This actually created a really classical scam that was so simple and made other players absolutely rich from. It actually evolved into a meme, the classic joke scam. 
Easy or not, due to the high amounts of scamming going on, Jagex around the same time introduced trade limits, which made it a little harder for people to get scammed unknowingly, but never really stopped any scammers from doing what they loved doing, which was taking other players' stuff. It was actually very popular for two people to scam one person as well. The concept itself was actually very clever and had people really making millions off of it, as it was a lot more effective than one person scamming another, as two people were able to trick one person a lot easier. This would happen by having the first scammer approach the second scammer, then asking him if he can trim his armor, then you were actually friends, and the other scammer would give the second scammer his armor, pretending to trade it to the first scammer. After a little bit of time, the second scammer would simply equip trimmed armor that they already had set up in his inventory. This made it appear as though someone else trimmed his armor, but never actually happened. Though it would still convince the players around them to trust the first scammer, trading all their armor for trimming, and losing it. Now it's pretty crazy, let's be honest, the type of stories that came out of having, selling, obtaining, or scamming this trimmed armor created both awesome and very heartbreaking experiences for anyone who fell into the scammer's hand or had the luck of obtaining the armor themselves. It's not only an awesome concept but an extremely nostalgic blast from the past for anyone who played RuneScape back in the day. With all that being said, that's all we've got for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this shorter but sweet video, and if you enjoyed revisiting the old good times of RuneScape, then hit that like button, and remember to subscribe if you want to see more content. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.